Good morning and welcome to Morning Meditation. We're on Psalm 117, probably the shortest chapter in the Bible. We're going to read the whole thing. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye people. For His merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. And that's one thing we need to understand. His truth endureth. Man has... Uh, worn out books and, and time and effort trying to disprove the Bible and disprove God. He's still around and they're long gone. A Christian, uh, instead of arguing and fighting with everybody, we need to make sure that, boy, we have that compassionate uh, spirit that the Lord Jesus has. Uh, three or four things I want to share with you there. First of all, we see God's mastery. Uh, oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye people. And that ought to be our message. When we're uh, carrying the truth to people, we can give people the truth, but we can give it to them in a positive, praising way. I know some Christians, when they present the truth, uh, boy, they're just cantankerous, they're mean, mean-spirited about it, and I don't think that's the Spirit of Christ. But I also don't think it's the Spirit of Christ when you have preachers and Christians who ignore the truth just to get along with people or use the modern methods just to please people. Boy, we need to praise the Lord, but we need to do it in a uh, biblical fashion. Not only do we see God's mastery, but we see God's mercy. And uh, I love the verses that talk about mercy and truth have met together. The key word of the Christian life, balance. You can't have one without the other. You've got churches that are all mercy, 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 and all uh, other churches are all truth, truth, truth. No, you need mercy and truth. Uh, truth is the, the fist, and mercy is the velvet glove the fist goes on, and sometimes that hand can be uh, for patting, and sometimes that uh, hand can be for correcting, and uh, but always in mercy, and God's always merciful, and uh, just study through the Bible, mercy after mercy after mercy. But that mercy is tempered by the truth of God. And we need to be careful and read Psalm 117. Such a short chapter, but such a power-packed chapter. It goes on to talk about God's message. The truth of the Lord endureth forever. And uh, the Bible tells us in Psalm chapter uh, 12 in Psalm 119, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. It's not settled on earth. People talking about, oh, we only have the word of God in the original Greek and Hebrew. Hogwash on that. The Bible says that his word is eternal. It's settled in heaven. God loves you. He's merciful. He's not going to hide his word for you. You don't need some uh, degree in Greek and Hebrew to understand the Word of God, you just need to trust the Word of God. God gives us inspiration and preservation, and if He said He'll preserve His Word perfectly, that's exactly what He's done. And the reason man doesn't want to admit that is because then man has to submit to the authority of God, and man's no longer in control. And that's the big problem. Control. There's a lot of control freaks out there. Uh, and boy, we need to just... Uh, turn that control over to the Lord Jesus Christ. But last of all, I see God's mandate. The mandate is this, and that's to praise God. Boy, the best way you can present the gospel of salvation is through our praises and what God's doing. When the world's talking about their uh, drunkenness and their gods of sports, their gods of industry, their mm -hmm. gods of uh, intellect, we need to be talking about the God of God, the God of heaven singing His praise. Uh, one day, the Bible says, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that He is Lord to the glory of God. Well, why don't we just live that way now? Why don't we give Him the honor and glory He rightfully deserves? Let's make sure that our method, our message, our meditations all line up with Psalm 117. And I know it's hard to be positive in this negative world, a Christian, let's make sure we balance the mercy with the truth and continue to be a positive, praising influence where we're at. God bless you and have a wonderful day.